Good afternoon, this is Kathleen at My Alabama Farm Life, and today I'm going to show you what I've done with my Weird Container collaboration. Now, this is an old dog food container. It's one of those auto feed containers. I've had it for years. My dad gave it to me, and um, my son threw it away, and I pulled it out of the garbage can because I thought this would be the perfect Weird Container. This is gonna be for the hashtag Weird Container Growing 24, and this is hosted by Gail's Southern Living. I actually had two. I have the big one and the smaller one, and I have decided that I'm gonna go ahead and put some flowers and some peppers into each one of these containers. So the first thing that I did with these containers is I gave them a good wash. They were sitting in some ant beds and they were really dirty, so I rinsed them out really good. Then I went ahead and prepped them. Now in the bottom, I put some alfalfa straw and bunny manure. I have a lot of that and it is awesome. And then I went ahead and recycled some soil that I had in other containers. Um, I'm trying to be careful about how much soil that I purchase and I'm trying to do this on the cheap. So we're using recycled soil. Now, I also have peppers that I started downstairs in my basement, and I have some nasturtiums and I have some marigolds. So I have decided that I'm gonna grow peppers in each of these containers and add some flowers to them. And of course, my cat, Shelly, she is here. She wants to know what's going on in her yard. She wants to be a part of everything. I think if she could get in and help me plant, she would. She is just a great companion to have around the garden. On the smaller container, I only have room for one pepper and two marigolds that I'm going to put in the bottom. Now, on the bigger one, it has a much bigger hole, so I've decided that I'm going to put the one pepper in and then the nasturtium that I have, and then I'll put the marigolds, the two marigolds that I have on the bottom. I also want to talk about the mail call that I got last month. I received an email from a company named Amirla and they offered me a little garden bench and that's the bench that I'm sitting on right now and I really love it. Now I've ordered these benches before and used them and to me they felt a little unstable. However, this bench is very solid. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can check it out. All right, so my two containers are done and now I'm gonna set them up in my garden. Now, one of the things that I did notice is that I do not have holes in those little dishes. So I think I'm gonna have to drill some holes so that the water can uh, release because it looks like my marigolds are getting waterlogged. And I'm also doing something else in my garden. I have an old hat stand that um, is starting to break. So I decided to put it out here on the garden and I'm going to put my cucumbers on those. I'm gonna grow cucumbers. I think that it's going to be perfect growing next to my weird growing containers. Now here's the smaller one. I actually had one of my chickens pull out the pepper but I was able to put it back in. Um, my chickens, the babies are running loose and they're getting into everything. Guys, look at my carrots, aren't they awesome? Um, we've been pulling them, I've been feeding them to my rabbits, and I've also been using them in my stews. Um, my lettuces, they're pretty much done. Those cabbages are starting to brown. So I'm going to be cleaning out this area and putting something else in there. And there's Shelly. She is here to make sure that I am doing everything to her standard. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh my goodness, the weather has just been, I wanna say it's nice because it's pretty comfortable. It's uh, the high 70s, but it is so muggy. It's so muggy, my glasses are starting to fog up. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys learned something or were at least entertained. You have a blessed and joyous day and I'll see you on my next video.